Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And today I wanted to go ahead and teach you a tutorial on using watercolors along with gouache. And I'm actually going to be using Arteza's uh, new watercolor pan set. It's like 36 colors, they're beautiful. I've done a lot of reviews for this company before and Arteza's just amazing. I'm not exaggerating. Their supplies are really awesome and I actually, I had done a gouache review for them about two Christmases ago. And if you're interested in the gouache set or this watercolor set, look down below in the description box. There's the links to how you can buy Arteza supplies. They've got tons, tons of mediums, and you can definitely find it on their website. For this piece of Alice from Alice in Wonderland, I'm going to be using my little 5x8 Strathmore cold press watercolor sketchbook. When I'm watercoloring, I like to go ahead, before I add gouache, I like to use watercolor first. So if you've never done any watercolor before, watercolor is based up on layers. So I went ahead and I started using my layers, just starting off with the base base layer and I go around and I started like combining. There's no set skin tone color in this set. So I mixed a little bit of red with some brown and some yellow. And when you add a lot of water to what you're mixing, you can dilute it a lot and get like a very nice pale color instead of that really dark red orange that you see that I've made. But when you add water, it dilutes it and plus it gives you the chance to start off with layers. And when you add more and more water, you are able to add layers on top of it, but you have to completely wait for it to dry in order for those light layers to be layered upon. You'll see here that I start to actually use that layering process. So I go back and I mix an, that skin tone that I used once again. And you can see that I can start shading and adding more tones into Alice's face and in her hair. And that really is the biggest thing when it comes to watercolor. I'm not exaggerating. You really wanna strive for layers. So when you pick out your colors and you go, okay, Alice's hair is going to be this light yellow or this golden, this is where you come in and you say, I have to go in really, really light. And the more water you add, the better that those layers will turn out. That's the fight with watercolor. And I don't think that people have the patience to one, let their first layers dry or their base layers dry. And they don't have the patience to, um, you know, they just want to go in and they want to pile it on thickly. And that was always the problem that I had with a lot of my watercolor students. They just tried to pick up the whole little, you see those little pans, those little itty bitty blocks. You're not supposed to pick up the entire thing and they're not supposed to be completely thick. They're not supposed to be used within one painting. They're supposed to last over time. So if you're getting big chunks out of your little itty bitty cubes of watercolor. That's what I'm just gonna call them, just to make it simple. They're my little itty bitty cubes. Do you see those? If you're getting huge chunks and you're not diluting the heck out of that, you have a big problem. And that's where you need to stop and reevaluate your watercolor process. I honestly don't have anything bad to say about this watercolor set. The only complaint I could see with people having about this watercolor pan set is that it's too big. It's just like I go to a lot of places and it's a really big art palette and I love that. But I actually took it to a coffee shop to paint with and I it didn't really matter because my complete sketchbook just kind of like you see it fits right alongside that one fold of the watercolor pan. and it actually really works out for me. So now that I've gotten my base watercolor image down of Alice, this is where I jump in with Arteza's 60 gouache colors. Now I've reviewed gouache before. I've even done a tutorial using their gouache on how to use gouache. And I have not went to another type of gouache. I mean, I see all these other people that like have these different brands of gouache and I'm just like, I'm fine, I'm comfortable. Everything about these gouache colors and their quality is amazing. And I, I, I just want to work with this. And I mean, I tried a really, really, really long time ago, acrylic gouache and that just wasn't for me. And I think this because this is more of like a watercolor gouache and it's more water soluble. 
I usually use my little ray gun. It's like a ceramic thing and it has like a spot for gouache or paint in general. And I would suggest that when you're working with gouache, you can keep reusing it and reusing it. It's very similar to like these little little cubes of watercolor. You can keep reusing it. So I would suggest using it like on a ceramic plate. Um, probably not a paper plate, just something that can withstand it. I don't know, a slab of concrete. <laughs> So you're probably wondering, why would I use gouache with watercolor? Because it's like complementary color. They are complementary mediums. And it's a mixed media that actually complements and enhances each other. So the gouache enhances watercolor. You can layer gouache as well. The more water you add, very similar to watercolor once again, the more water that you add to it, the more layers you will get out of it so you can see i started to use like these base layers of my gouache and i would let them dry and the key is to jump around jump around jump around if you can't if so you're not sitting watching paint dry make sure you jump around in different places of your paper and getting those first layers done so that oh i finished this top corner now i'm going to go back to the bottom corner where i started off doing the watercolor first and then going in and detailing or adding a specific flair to the watercolor painting with gouache really makes it pop. It makes the subject pop a little bit more. As you see right now, I'm detailing Alice's face with gouache. And you can see that I will, throughout this process, I take the gouache and I like use it on her hair or on her dress to define lines a little bit more. I never really use blacks or grays to shade anything. Instead, I look for the same colors, but different on the spectrum. So, you know, I use a brown to shade a yellow instead of using a black. But what I really like is that there are more colors to experiment with. And I think that's why this process <laughs> took me so long is because I was overwhelmed with the 60 colors that Arteza gave me in the gouache set and I was looking at the back of the box and I was like putting them all inside my pan so you'll see like my little ceramic dish is full of all these different gouache colors because there's so many pretty colors and um, there was a couple of really pretty iridescent ones and you can kind of tell that some of the cerulean blue ones like to the left of Alice's hair you can see that blue one that's kind of popping there was some iridescent gouache paint so I had a pink one I had a green one for the leaves and I had one for the blue some of the blue ones so that when you lift it up and you look at it you can actually see them sparkly and shiny and shimmery and I'm all about shimmery things especially shimmery paint and I'm and it's just cool to see that with um, gouache because I was layering and layering and using more so you can see right there I just mixed my shimmery green paint with some green regular paint just a green shade of gouache now i want to also address something that's really beneficial to use for gouache on top of watercolor gouache if you have not tried it before and you're a watercolor person or maybe you're not at all and maybe you want to just try gouache gouache opens up an opportunity to layer in a different way so instead of watercolor where you wait you know you you still have to wait for gouache to dry in order to layer but it has more of an abrupt kind of edge to it so you can see I go in and instead of like blending it in it has more of like a harsh line to it like I want it there hard lines and I think that's what even when I said about Posca pens you know you're just you're not really blending in but you're giving harsh final lines that is like the base shading. It's like the darkest color or it's the lightest color. And that's what I, I like about gouache. And I really like gouache enhancing watercolors. I hope all that madness of advice kind of made sense. It's kind of hard to explain sometimes until you sit down and you actually try merging these two mediums together with watercolor or gouache or you pick one or the other it's all about trial and error and just practicing 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 but i hope a little bit of this advice helped once again if you want your own arteza um, pan set 36 watercolor pan set or these beautiful 60 gouache colors i'll put the links down below in the information box i'm not exaggerating these art supplies are 
really awesome. They're the cream of the crop <laughs> and I don't plan on using any other brand anytime soon. So yeah, I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!